Guess what, everyone? It's NFL Picks Sunday. We're at the Bellagio. Hey, everybody. Focus that. Come on, focus, please. If I've been dropping the phone too much, maybe. We're at the Bellagio. It's a gorgeous casino. We're in the poker room. Uh, we're hanging out, and we're meeting some friends, and we're talking about the games. So we've got everything up. The Philadelphia game's going on right now. It really favors Philly. It favors some points. Uh, they threw an interception trying to score a touchdown. We'll see if they can pound Jacksonville's defense. I think they will. Let's talk about the 1 o'clock games quick. Likes Pittsburgh to win. Doesn't like them to cover the spread. Line's not great, but Pittsburgh to win's probably a good bet there. Uh, I've always said it's almost illegal for Pittsburgh to lose to Cleveland. They tied earlier this year. You can see it's illegal for them to lose, so I think they're going to win the game. Denver and Kansas City really likes Kansas City. It even says they'll win with the spread, but you know Denver's had some trouble. Kansas City to win minus 425 rough line, but um, they really they're probably going to keep rolling and continue to be undefeated. I, it seems like so. I'd probably take them to win on the money line. Jets and Bears, you got some conflicting information. No, you don't have conflicting information. We think the Bears are going to win outright. 22. I don't like betting on the Bears, but they are favored in all those categories except special teams. Uh, so I guess the Bears at negative 320, not a great line, but that seems like it's going to happen. Seattle and Detroit. Now here's what, some interesting things. We're going against Vegas, if I type those lines in right. If Seattle's plus 145. We think they're going to win the game 33-30. So really likes them with the plus 3, likes them plus 145. They're also favored in win strength there at 23%. That's weird. So you've got both point predictions as well as win strength, both in there working out. So I guess it likes Seattle. It's, I'm going to play them here at the Bellagio today. Uh, the Redskins and the Giants. Um, I got this game in late. Sorry to the subscribers. I didn't send it earlier. I, I missed it for some reason. Pick them over here. Uh, really favors the Skins heavily in win strength, but doesn't in point scores. It's a no bet in my opinion. You got to stay away. I don't like what's going on there. Uh, pick them all around. Anything can happen with the Skins and the Giants. I, yeah, I just I wouldn't stay away. Watch that for fun. Really like Cincinnati over Tampa Bay. That's a big one. Minus 200. That's one of the better lines here. Look at how it's freaking 56 points. Really thinks that A.J. Green, Dalton, or whatever, they're going to walk over them. There's not a lot of defense in this game, so consider the over. Uh, I don't know what it's set at, but that's the game where you like the Bengals and you like the over. I'm going to do that. Uh, Baltimore and Carolina. It likes both Baltimore in win strength and in point score. Baltimore's let us down with those things before. They're favored. Offense, their defense is not necessarily as good. Special teams like Carolina's bad. Carolina's not been playing well. Baltimore probably pulls this out. So minus 135, I guess. I guess you take the money line there based on those two consistent pieces of information. Indianapolis supposed to score a lot of points against Oakland and has win strength variance. They are minus 155. That game scares me for some reason. Um, Oakland at home, I don't know what's going to happen there. But uh, something just happened in the Eagles game. Um, and then 49ers and Cardinals, it's a pick em. Slightly likes the Niners, uh, likes the Niners in points score as well, so probably take the Niners there if it's a pick em. And then Rams should continue to go undefeated. Oh, the Chiefs are, sorry, the Chiefs are not undefeated, I said earlier. The Chiefs lost to the Patriots this year. The Rams are undefeated. That's our highest point score on team strength, I believe, is the Rams game, even maybe even more than the Pats on Monday. Um, but so Rams should beat the Packers. I don't think that should be any funky business there. The line's not great, negative 450. Saints, yeah, I think I think you take just the Rams. I don't know. We'll talk about the Rams. That's a that's a four o'clock game. I over, I guess. Look at the two offenses and uh, the, let's see what the over is in that game uh, because you're not getting a great line with the Rams. Although they're probably going to win. Saints and Vikings. It likes. Saints in win strength, but it likes the Vikings in point score. The Vikings did that to us in point score last time. Look at their strong offense and defensive lineup, or yeah, strong offensive and defensive C scores that Minnesota has. Sneaky game at plus 105. It almost, you know, I like to trust the point prediction over the win strength, but I, I'm always wrong. Like I say, never listen to me, always listen to the file. Um, and then Pats, I don't know what the heck to do with that month, that nonsense game. We'll do some more videos. So, um, we are updated for injuries. Sent this out late. Sorry, you know I'm 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 here for you though. May your picks be winning.